The holiday shopping frenzy is already in full swing, but as shoppers go out to find the perfect gift for their loved ones, think about making the gift personal and thoughtful. And what better way to do it than with the gift of original art? Arts and culture blogger Paul Nimi is here today, and we're so pleased to have him. He's going to be talking about the gift of giving art this holiday season. Welcome to the show. Thanks so much for having me. Thank you for being here and for, and for gracing us with not just your presence, but your beautiful work. And you say it's actually a great time to buy art. Absolutely. There has never been a better time to buy original art. Really? Many artists, unfortunately, are struggling. Yes. So they're offering galleries and collectors recession pricing, which is really great. So everybody can take advantage of that. See, I think that's what sometimes makes people shy away because they think if I want good art, I have to spend a lot of money. And you don't actually, you know, while everyone has their own budget, uh -huh. today I brought along some great gift ideas oh, good. that range anywhere from just under $20 all the way up to about $450. Perfect. See, so no matter what your range is, there's something for everyone. So yeah, show us some of the things you've brought along. Well, first of all, there's functional art. Functional art is the kind of art that we live with every day, like furniture. And when I think of uh, rustic Mexican-inspired furniture, I yes. think of uh, ghost town furniture in Knob Hill. Yes. Claudio Cruz and his family have been making furniture for 12 years. Um, they create very colorful um, chairs and, and nichos. And this, we have a, a beautiful, I think we have an image of a ranch shelf, which is um, $240. Oh, my God. Yeah. And, you know, it's the holiday season, and the angel is the, the beacon of the holiday yes. season. Yes, of course. Uh, most everything in the store is made from reclaimed wood and metal. And so, of course, they have these wonderful uh, reclaimed wood and metal angels. Ugh. They come in small sizes, which are $18. That's and the it, large, 18? 18. Wow. And the larger ones, which are $58. And, you know, I can't think of a better holiday gift than wow. giving the gift of green. An angel. An angel giving the gift of green and also supporting a local business. See, and that's the thing. We love to support local business around here. And, and, you know, when we talk to people all across the country, one of the first things they always say is, oh, I love I love New Mexico. I love the art. Mm -hmm. It's one of the first things that other people say. Right. And there's so much traditional art here, mm -hmm. like this Clarence Cruz oh, yeah. micaceous pot. It's gorgeous. This is actually functional. You can eat in it. You can cook in it. Really? And Andrew's Pueblo Pottery and Art Gallery in Old Town has a wide array of his pottery. Ooh. And this is the perfect hostess a party hostess gift at $75. It's really, really terrific. I love that because when you're going to parties, you want to know what to bring for the hostess and you never know if should I bring food, should I bring wine? That's a perfect gift. It's very terrific. Love that. Mm -hmm. What other gifts do we have? Okay, well, you know, when you go into a gallery, you know, a lot of people say, well, what about Native American art? How do I know if it's authentic? Exactly. Well, you know, um, dealers like Bob Andrews and Andrews Pueblo Pottery have been in the business for 38 years and they can really help to guide customers as to what's authentic and no, uh, no reputable dealer is going to represent something as Native American unless it is. See, I love that because I really don't know and I never can differentiate. So to it's have somebody hard. guide you through it really does help. This is a this is a dream catcher by Carrie Lucero, who is from the Onondaga tribe of the Iroquois Nation. Um, she's local. This is actually the traditional form of the dream catcher. We think of the round, but yeah. this is traditional. I've she, never seen it like this. It's very cool. She paints them and then she has really wonderful organic materials such as shells and, and uh, feathers and adds these little booklets that she handwrites that describe what the materials are. So this is really That's cool. It's um, $62 at Andrews Pueblo Pottery. So you're spending under 75. That's amazing. Exactly. And then a gallery that really knows its stuff when it comes to um contemporary Native American art is yes. a legend Santa Fe. They also handle a, a variety of artists that are non-native, yes. but um, most of their pieces are anywhere from $1,500 on up, which is kind of out of most people's price range. Right. But a couple weeks ago, they opened their holiday small work show. Oh. So they're offering smaller pieces like this one from Nicholas Herrera, who's a, yes. a New Mexico artist. He's a Santero. He's a and character. He's he is, a great guy. He's in museums and his work is thousands of dollars, but this piece, Our Lady of Sorrow, is $450, which is a real bargain for his work. Wow. Frank Buffalo Hyde, who is Nez Pierce and Onondaga as well is a very popular kind of a uh, combines native and pop art. This is the Batmobile. That's one of my favorite things you have here. This is three hundred dollars. Very 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 that's cool. That's incredible. And so yeah, the Batmobile. I mean that's awesome. Right. A lot of collectors out there, and they'll they'll appreciate that. And another thing that you have is wearable art. Wearable art. I'm actually wearing some art myself. You are. This is um, by um, Chris Mills, who is a local artist. She, she loves Shrinky Dinks, and who doesn't remember them from their childhood? Uh, I love Shrinky Dinks. She takes graphite and she actually etches or draws the images onto the shrinky dink, bakes them, and then inlays them in silver, creating pendants, uh, cufflinks, and this ring. This is 135 at Mariposa Gallery. Gosh, look it's at a that. very reputable gallery in, in Knob Hill. It's been open since 1974. 
Oh, um, I love it. And then when it comes to uh, uh, wearable art and paintings, mm -hmm. Studio 13, which is in, um, in Old Town, is owned by Saginaw Chippewa artist Daniel Ramirez. Okay. And uh, his work goes for th you know, hundreds and thousands of dollars. He's working on the world's longest Native American painting. But what's, re what's really cool there is that even though his paintings are so expensive, you can mm -hmm. afford uh, really beautiful matted prints. Yeah. This card set's like $28. See, that's a great gift, It's I so think. bright and wonderful. It's almost as good as the real thing. But what's really cool that he does that I like is, is that he's he will actually paint clothing art original on original or original art on, on clothing, clothing and it can range in price depending on the item this t-shirt that i'm wearing is a very simple design that's from him yes see i was simple gonna tell design. you i love your shirt and this would be forty dollars very very cool that's amazing and you know we actually have some photos of some of the things we're talking about as exactly. well i want to talk about that let's tell, tell me what we're looking at here these are chairs from um ghost Town oh that's a chair, okay mm -hmm. got it exactly and of course a little a little Frosty the Snowman element added to that. Exactly. This is this is the ranch shelf that I was referring to. That's two hundred and forty dollars. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. And of course, these are the angels of varying sizes. See, and I love that. And like you said, you know, you can go everywhere from eighteen dollars on up. You can. So I mean, if you have a little gift to buy, I mean, that's also a good hostess gift, I think. Totally, totally. And you know, I, I always say one of my biggest pieces of advice to people is you don't you don't have to know anything about art. Just buy what right. you like. For instance, I love this uh, painting by Ariela Boronat, who's a Santa Fe. Before you get to that, real quick, tell me. What we're looking at on the screen. This what is one is of Daniel Ramirez's paintings oh, of his okay. tribal women. It's really, really beautiful. That is beautiful. They ranged in price from about six hundred dollars to five thousand dollars. But he, as I said, he will paint images like that on on clothing oh, for you. Rich history. Mm -hmm. I love it. And okay, go back. Okay, to Okay, so now. this is this is a painting by Ariela Boronat, who's a Santa Fe based artist. She is Cuban born, and she really loves to do these mixed media pieces that yeah. are reminiscent of her journeys around the world. And usually her pieces are larger and more expensive, but she's doing smaller pieces. Um, this one is uh, this one is eight by ten. Gorgeous. And um, it is $85. It's available at arielaboronot.com. Fantastic. And then, um, you know, when we think of New Mexico, we think of the Day of the Dead, but you don't yes. necessarily associate it with the holidays. Well, that's the thing. I was wondering about that. Yeah, well, Mariposa Gallery is offering these wonderful paper clay ornaments by Amber Middleton, who's a local artist. Okay. They range in price from $40 to $45, really depending cool. on the size. They're very, very cool. I love them. Well, I want to let everybody know, because a lot of people out there are watching saying, I need more information. I love this stuff. So let's tell them where they can find more. Absolutely. They can go to my blog, which okay. is unclepaulysworld.blogspot.com. I love that. That's fantastic. Well, thank you so much for sharing your art and your work and your knowledge with us. We appreciate it so much. Thanks so much for having me. And happy holidays, and happy we'll be holidays. right back.